Happy Monday lunchtime, everybody. Uh, 10 minute abs to start off the week. Some of you may have already done a workout session today, be it a Zoom follow along, our new thing that we've just launched, or one of your Zoom sessions, or maybe just working out by yourself. So uh, this is gonna be a good little addition. Got a feeling I might have created an ab workout here that is hell on earth. Um, so the other ones have been pretty tough, so I'm not sure how this one's gonna go. Basically, it is 10 minutes, every minute, we are going to switch to a new style of plank, okay? And like we've done in previous videos, um, if you're just looking for a starter on your core training, you're going to do 30 seconds of work followed by 30 seconds rest. Intermediates, which I'm going to do is 45 and 15, so 45 on 15 rest. And the hardcore people amongst us is 60 seconds on and zero minutes rest. The eighth minute is a rest period entirely. So. Um, I want to make sure we finish strong in the final two minutes. I've got a feeling with what I've programmed, if we don't take the eighth minute as full rest, then um, we won't finish with good quality uh, form on the plank. So follow along. I'll show you the different planks as we go. 10 minutes of abs. Off we go. So we're starting with a regular front plank. So nice and simple. Nothing, uh, nothing crazy. Just getting those cores warmed up. Remember on a plank, if you do feel it in your lower back, lift the bum in the air, that just takes the strain off the lower back. But if you can, try and keep nice and level. You can drop to the knees and that's still a really good core exercise. Just find your level and go for it. So if you're on 30s, you can break now. 45s, let's keep going just that little bit longer. Remember, keep breathing. Good quality form. And 45s break. 60s keep going. So, 60s while you're finishing off, I'll demonstrate the next one. Well, I'll get ready for the next one. I'm going to go into a side plank. So, the second minute is going to be right side. Off we go. And the Third minute will be a side plank on the other side. So we're going to try and hold this for either 30, 45 or 60. Remember, you can do this from your knees if you need to. But if you can, try and hold that straight legged, strong position. Thirties you can break. Remember, keep your head back, arm up. Five more seconds, 45s. And break. Eight more seconds, 60s, you can do it. Obviously, appreciate by the time we get through all this, you're in the literary plank through the whole thing. Switch now, so going on to your other side. Keep that body in a straight line, imagine you're up against a plane of glass. Arm up, open that palm, point to the ceiling. Five more seconds, 30s, keep going. Keep squeezing the glutes forward and 30s can break. Five more seconds, 45s. And break. So, 60s, you've got 10 more seconds left. And then we're going to go into that front plank position again, but we're going to drop the knees down to tap the floor each time as we go. In three, two, one. Next plank, plank position, tapping the knees, but keeping that core engaged the entire time. Ten more seconds, thirties. Planks are all about creating tension and rest thirties. Really important thing to be able to do for any athletic sport or just for keeping yourself 
fit and healthy. And rest 45s. Oh. So we're starting to get a little bit warmer now. Come on 60s, you've got five seconds left. And up into your straight arm plank now. So we're going to get the arms a little bit more involved. Things will start to be burning a little bit now. Just keep going. Keep that core engaged. Squeeze the glutes. Good posture. Just try and go to your zen place. Ignore the screaming in your body that's saying stop. And the 30s can break. Come on, 45s, we've got five more seconds. Hold on. And break. Okay, 60s, you've got a little bit longer, not long. But we're halfway now. Starting to heat up a little bit. Three, two, one, we're back into a side plank position. And I'm going to do this one from my knees because then we're going to add an out leg raise in. But if you can do the full side plank with the leg raise, then go for it. I find on that one, if I don't do it from my knee, my back starts to twist and I actually get less from the movement. But I can still feel it in my core. My glutes are still screaming. My abs are screaming too. Three more seconds, 30s. And rest 30s, well done. Three, two, one, and 45s, rest. 60s, keep going. You managed to carry on and do all this with very, very little rest other than just changing over side. You've done amazing. We've got this. Then the eighth minute will be a rest for everybody because then we're going to finish strong. So onto your next side now. Nice smooth movement, keeping that core engaged, squeezing the leg up, feeling the glutes work, both on this side that's bracing. Oh. oh, it's starting to kick in now. Five more seconds, 30s. Keep going. Five more seconds, 45. And break. 60s, come on, finish it off. And we've all got a nice minute breather. Because the last two are tough. Come on, 60s, three. Two, one, and break. So everybody just enjoy the rest now. Shake your arms and legs out. Glutes as well as core will have been working hard. So we're gonna finish now when this rest period is up with a right arm only front plank and then a left arm only front plank. You might need to take your feet a little bit wider this is going to be a big finish because not only is it going to pull through the core, you're also going to feel it through your upper body. If that's a little bit much, if you've got any shoulder injuries or any discomforts, then go for a shoulder taps for the uh, ninth minute. And then in the final minute, we'll do the RKC plank, which is pulling in. So it's a normal front back pulling in. But if you can, let's go right arm front plank to start with. In three, two, one, off we go. Try not to let that body twist. Keep everything square and straight. It's gonna be hard for me to talk on this because I've had to work so hard to keep myself square and straight. That's how you should feel too. Five more seconds, 30s. Come on, hold on. And rest. 45, so we've got 12 seconds left. Come on, you can hold on. Five more seconds. 
and break. Oh. 60s, keep going. Once you've done that, we're going to switch into the final minute, which is our left arm um, front plank. In three, two, one. 60s, you go into the beat. 30s and 45s, I'll let you know. Hold up, come up. Try and distract yourself. If you want to make this harder, bring them feet closer together. 30s, you've got eight seconds. I'm shaking, you probably are too. Keep going. 30s, you're done, you're done, well done. 45s, we're nearly there. Fight the urge to twist. Come on. And 45s, you're done. Right, 60s, see us home. Very, very impressive work doing 60 seconds on all of these. Very, very impressive. You know, I've got five seconds left. Four, three, two, one, and you're done. Well done. If you manage to do the 60 the whole way through, that's nine minutes of planking movements with only that one minute rest. But you saw how by taking that rest period, we'd actually finish strong and finish those planks with good form. I feel like if we'd put something else in there, then the form would have broken down. It's as much about quality as it is about hammering yourself. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed that one. I know I did. I'm ready for a little bit of lunch now, I think. So uh, have a great rest of the day. And uh, yeah, maybe see you on some Zoom soon.